today we're going to be replacing a water pump on a Trans Am, be a 98 to a 2002 uh, body styles. Been having issues with it. Um, I already changed the thermostat. I should didn't fix it. So now we're going to be replacing the water pump and let's hope that fixes it. So to start off, we got to remove six bolts, three on this side, 10 millimeters, and then three over here. Just one, two, and three. And then, well, first we got to remove this. There's the tensioner. We're also going to need the tensioner. So it's 15 mil, I believe, to loosen up the tensioner and remove the belt. And then we got to remove all these hoses. Obviously, it's going to leak down there. But yep, let me start off with the tensioner and remove the belt. The way the belt goes under from here under the water pump over the power steering pump then it goes under this pulley wait no it goes under this one over this one under to the alternator and then to the crank position crank uh pulley so let me start with that I'm gonna remove this the throttle body so it can be a lot easier to remove just pull it out and go from the top so let me get these screws well actually let me remove this first all right so once you pull it out uh, I have another one of these I ended up buying a 180 thermostat from O'Reilly's there we go and since I do have a fast intake, and this is a LS3, I don't know if that'll matter if it's an LS3, but I have the fast LSXR intake. It'll hit, so I ended up doing just grinding it a little bit on the old one. And that was good enough. So I'm gonna do it again on the new one. Here's the part. Water pump, we'll double check that it's the same, and then we'll go from there. Also, we gotta remove this pulley and put it on the pulley and putting on the new one right over here don't forget to put your seals uh, I bought some seals for this since I did an LS3 swap um, the seals are still good so yep let me take these off and then I'll take this off and put on the box and put the new one on the new pump all right so I ended up taping it just to be extra cautious covering up the holes and there we go grinded it down just like that one so now I just got to put it back in there and yeah okay after struggling so much I had to grind down quite a bit I even removed the intake or I loosened up the bolts just so this can get flexed and then as you can see it's a little bit a little bit of grinding so I was able to I could have probably not have uh, loosened up the bolts I mean yeah the bolts for the intake but I wanted to make sure these three went in real good, hand tight. And then, yeah, because I was struggling to do it with this on. So I loosened them up a little bit, just enough to get it straight. And then bolted it back up, put the belts back on. I put the thermostat. Now I got to connect my throttle body, all the hose clamps, and we should be good to go. And then start filling it up. And yeah. So right after this the car kept overheating and I left it alone for a couple days trying to figure out more research. Turns out that I went to go lift it up on the following day, jacked up the front and I noticed that it was leaking on the right side, driver's side of the bolts and of where the seal's at. So I went in with the flashlight and noticed that the rear bolts 
of the water pump and was hitting on the front uh, cover of the timing chain. So I'm gonna uh, put a video here showing y'all explaining a little bit what I ended up doing. These are the bolts that was hitting on the front timing cover plate. This was the one that was hitting on that one. That's why it was called until like here. There was a gap. So I just grinded these down. See, these don't stick out as much out as the newer water pump. So once I grinded the bolts, I put the water pump back on and make sure that it did not hit. So if any other vehicle you are installing, just double check that they will not be hitting on the front timing chain cover. Just double check because that was my main issue. Although it is the OEM part, you never know. So after this, we put a uh, coolant. Everything was just fine. I bought this kit off uh, O'Reilly's and that one worked great. Cause it took all the bubbles out. The temp, the temp of the vehicle stayed right under 205, so that was great. So yep, uh, any other questions you'll have, just let me know. Uh, car is running fine, still getting more data logs into it and revision tunes. So that's it guys. Alright, thanks for watching. Peace.